A Letter from a Girl to Her Own Old Age by Alice Maynell, read for LibriVox.org by Elvira Shar. Listen, and when thy hand this paper presses, O time one woman think of her who blesses, what thy thin fingers touch with her caresses. O mother, for the weight of years that break thee, O daughter, for slow time must yet awake thee, and from the changes of my heart must make thee. O fainting traveler, morn is gray in heaven. Dost thou remember how the clouds were driven, and are they claim about fall of even? Pause near the ending of thy long migration, for this one sudden hour of desolation appeals to one hour of thy meditation. Suffer, O silent one, that I remind thee of the great hills that storm the sky behind thee, of the wild winds of power that have resigned thee. Know that the mournful plain where thou must wander is but a gray and silent world, but ponder these misty mountains of the morning yonder. Listen, the mountain winds with rain were fretting, and sudden gleams the mountain tops besetting. I cannot let thee fade to death, forgetting what part of this wild heart of mine I know not. Will follow with thee where the great winds blow not, and where the young flowers of the mountain grow not. Yet let my letter with thy lost thoughts in it tell what the way was when thou didst begin it, and win with thee the goal when thou shalt win it. I have not read this letter of divining. To make a glory of thy silent pining, a triumph of thy mute and strange declining. Only one youth and the bright life was shrouded. Only one morning and the day was clouded. And one old age with all regrets is crowded. O、oh, hush, O、oh, hush! Thy tears, my words, are steeping. O、oh, hush, hush, hush! So full the fount of weeping. Poor eyes so quickly moved, so near to slipping. Pardon the girl. Such strange desires beset her. Poor woman, lay aside the mournful letter that breaks thy heart. The one who wrote, forget her. The one who now thy faded features guesses, with filial fingers thy gray hair caresses, with morning tears thy mournful twilight blesses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.